we have to hope that this country will survive to, until the 2023 elections. And I'm really serious. We need Why to survive. Are you talking of because the foundations, because the foundations, the foundations are far very. Last night they attacked the the only rail, the only link between Kaduna and Abuja. This is I mean the, the link. rail line. The rail line. Yeah. This is this is about the only link that for the for most of the north. For the elites. For largely. the elite. For the elite. Because but, there's the Abuja Kaduna yes, Expressway, yes. which tends to have incidents so of kidnappings and the big guns have and the big guns moved move to the train. And the big guns moved, and then the government never read the right the meaning, the right the writing on the wall. If you if you go on the train and you see the number of uh, our ministers and generals and, and and everybody who matters on that train, if you know what you're doing, you would say this is a disaster waiting to happen. Two-hour train of unprotected rail line of the cream of the Nigerian society in it because they cannot be on the road. The people with responsibility to fix the problem didn't fix the problem, they created another problem rather than creating a solution. If going from Abuja to Kaduna represents a security challenge, fix that security challenge. Don't create an alternative to that because this same problem that has kept you away from the road will follow you to the rain. And this is what we saw and this is what we're seeing. It shows you the shallowness of the Nigerian politics. So you need to fix first. The country has to survive. We have to survive the incursions of banditry and kidnapping, which, in spite of all these things you are hearing in the south, uh, that in, in Borno. I mean, sorry, um, you have Borno, uh, Yobe, and Adamawa. Boko Haram is still active. It's still a real a problem there. Now you have banditry and kidnapping in most parts of the north, uh, um, northwest. In the, in the north central, you have so many killings, so many, virtually every kind of threat exists in, in the north central. Community versus community, the, the, you have the kidnappers, you have the insurgents. In the southeast, IPOP is literally strangulating a whole region of the country, the five states. Um, the southwest is full of crime. Full, they, there's a raging, quiet political civil war going on over who should be the leader of, of Yoruba, and it's, it's, caused, it's taking a terrible toll.